on to Jams where hit music lives. Locked in the midday chop up with your girl Erin Vrain right here on this beautiful Thursday morning. Lil Baby and Lil Dirk right there in the mix with Voice of the Heroes right off of the Voice of the Heroes album. Listen up right now. It's time for Chat Trap talking about what's happening in the media today. So now we know it's the first day of July after a long month of June, also known as Pride Month. And the U.S. Embassy flew the Pride flag for the first time in the Bahamas in which the Christian Council did respond completely being against this and now the British and American embassies in the United Arab Emirates are facing backlash online and among locals for raising the rainbow pride flag there as well. So this is causing major controversy in a country where same-sex relationships are illegal and where homosexuality is considered a sin. So the former director of Dubai's finance department took to Twitter to share his thoughts and he is stating that well this is very disrespectful from the British Embassy to the UAE and its people, and it looks like someone there is still living the long gone UK Imperial day. So I don't know. I know it's causing a lot, a lot right now going on with them, you know, flying the pride flag. It's really, really causing people to start an uproar. So I don't know what is going to take place after that, where they're going to take it down, where they're going to keep it up. But I guess we'll see. Definitely keep you up to date. But another news is hitting headlines is in an interview for the first time, Kevin Gates, Yes, he had opened up about being molested as a child, and he stated that he started writing music as therapy. And he also stated in his words, it was an escape for me. I grew up real, real violent and real aggressive, not because I wanted to be, but I was molested when I was a child, so I had this fear of being vulnerable. I took every kind of martial arts you could take, and I even boxed. I did everything, and I wanted to be the toughest person on earth. So sometimes you really look at people and just wonder why they're this way why they're that way and then when they finally come forward and really open up to the public and say well this was this exactly what was going on in my home or you know and then you try and then you understand more of why they are who they are so it's just super sad to see that he had to experience that and another thing that's happening right now Super sad to see all the women, all the survivors, sexual assault survivors, but they had to experience, you know, by the hands of Bill Cosby. And now something huge took place yesterday, leaving a lot of people quite shocked, especially, you know, the sexual assault survivors. So 83-year-old Bill Cosby was released from prison after the Pennsylvania Supreme Court overturned his 2018 conviction. And he had only served three years, of a three to ten year sentence. And boy, oh boy. Social media was on fire yesterday and everyone is right now trying to figure out how this took place. But basically, you know, they were saying that he was convicted on three felony counts of aggravated indecent assault in 2018. And yeah, of drugging and assaulting Andrea Constant in 2004 and was serving a three to ten year sentence. And right now they're saying that the state Supreme Court said that Cosby cannot be retried on the same charges. And just a whole lot of things took place. They did something wrong. You know what happened legally when you do something wrong? You know, the person can always be freed in the end. And that's exactly what's going on in this situation. But Miss Felicia Rashad, she took to Twitter and she did disable them comments. She did turn off the comments when she tweeted a picture of Bill Cosby. And she said, finally... A terrible wrong is being righted. A miscarriage of justice is corrected. And a lot of people was wishing that she turned those comments on because everyone was commenting, of course, you know, because this is a sad situation saying that, you know, he just did so much wrong to so many women. And the fact that now he's free, I don't know, he better have high security. That's all I can say. Got to be very, very safe right now. But that's it for Chat Travel. And you know what's happening in the media. Jumping back into the mix. DJ Khaled, Nas, Jay-Z, James F. Sorry, not sorry.